All right, next one is a rectangle. The rectangle has just one rule, and that is that it has four right angles. Now, I remember when I was in elementary school, this is what I thought of as a rectangle. And yes, it is a rectangle. There are four right angles here, 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 and here. But what I didn't realize is, you know, growing up, I thought this was a square. But if you notice, this also has four right angles. So both of these are considered a rectangle. Rectangles has nothing to do with two sides being the same and the other two sides being another size or something like that. That's what we thought when we were growing up, but the true definition is for right angles. So this would be considered a rectangle, not because these two are the same and these two are the same. It's a rectangle because there's a right angle, a right angle, a right angle, a right angle. Now, if I shifted it just like that, this is no longer considered a rectangle. This is considered something else. Now, let's go back a little bit. Um, remember that we talked about parallelograms, how this, these two are parallel and these two are parallel. This is also considered a parallelogram. I don't want to confuse you. We're going to be talking about this in a few uh, video clips later, but just preparing you that, you know, a lot of quadrilaterals can have a bunch of different names. But anyways, back to rectangles. So if it has four right angles, it's considered a rectangle. If it's like that, it's no longer considered a rectangle. So if you look at this one, this is not a square, by the way. This, um, because um, a square has all four sides. Well, I'll get into that in the next video. But anyways, this is a rectangle because here's a right angle, here's a right angle, right angle, right angle. Shift it just a little bit it's no longer considered a rectangle. This one has four right angles. It's considered a rectangle. I know you're thinking, but it looks like a square. I'm going to talk about that in the next clip. Four right angles. One, two, three, four right angles. This is a rectangle. If I just shift it just a little bit, I've changed the angles. It's no longer considered a rectangle. All right, this last one that I want to talk about is a square. A square has two definitions, or two parts to their definition, four right angles and four equal sides. So there's really only one example I can give you on what it looks like, and that's it. This is your square, four sides the same, four right angles. This is exactly like this, it's just turned, just so you can see that they can give it to you um, uh, tilted. So just be aware of that, but a square is four right angles and four equal sides, whereas a rectangle, a rectangle's rule is four right angles. So that's why this was part of the rectangle category, because it had four right angles. But if I were to say if this is a square, this would not fit in the square category. Yes, it has four right angles, but all four sides are not the same, so this would not be considered a square. So some examples of squares... This one, all four sides are the same. All four sides have four right angles. If I tilt it just a little bit, it's no longer considered a square. Now, I talked about in the previous clip that this was also a rectangle. So if I were to give this to you and ask you what is this, you could tell me this is a rectangle because of the four right angles, but because it also has four equal sides, you can also tell me that it's a square. And I'll talk about that in the next clip, how we're going to look at one quadrilateral and give it all the names that it can possibly be, possibly be. Here is one other square. We can, whoops, got to make sure it's a right angles. So you could, you could see it like this, and you might have to tilt your paper to make sure that it's four right angles, but this is also considered a square. All four sides are the same, and there are four right angles. So it's a square. So let's go through our definitions. Trapezoid, one set of parallel lines. So an example of a trapezoid would be this one. These are parallel. These are not. They're going to eventually cross. Parallelogram, two sets of parallel lines. So an example would be this one. These would never touch and these would never touch. Remember, you've got to look at the opposite line. Rhombus is four equal sides. So this could be a rhombus. A rectangle is four right angles. I could use this 
or this. They both have four right angles. A square is uh, or a square is four equal sides and four right angles. So this would be considered a square because all four sides are the same and there are four right angles. This could also be considered a square. All four sides are the same and there are four right angles. And then all of these that I showed you are quadrilaterals because they all had four sides. So let's go through each one that I showed you and let's talk about all the possible names it could have. Because if you noticed, I used some of them again and again as repeats. Let's start with this one. So this line here, look at the opposite line. Are they parallel? Yes, they are. Look at this one and the opposite. Are they parallel? Yes. So this has two sets of parallel lines. This can be considered a parallelogram. But wait, let's keep going. Since I said it has two sets of parallel lines, it can't be a trapezoid. It can only be one or the other. Like these cannot be the same name. Rhombus, four equal sides. Clearly we can see all four sides are not the same. These are the same. These are not. These are a different set or a different kind of same. So um, can't be a rhombus. Could this be a rectangle? Definition is four right angles. Yes, one, two, three, four. And square. Square is four equal sides and four right angles. So I know all four sides are not the same, so this cannot be a square. And does this have four sides? Yes. So this is a parallelogram, this is a rectangle, and this is a quadrilateral. Let's look at this one again, and let's just shift it like that. And let's see if that gives it a different name. So trapezoid, one set of parallel lines. I'm looking at these, and these are never going to touch. I'm looking at these, and these are still never going to touch. So you know what? This is still a parallelogram. Now rhombus, four equal sides. Nope, unfortunately not. These are uh, different. Four right angles. Now that I've shifted it, like I've tilted it, it no longer has four right angles, so this is no longer considered a rectangle. And then square, four equal sides and four right angles. Well, if it's not a rhombus and a rectangle, which those definitions combined equal a square, then, you know, it can't be a square either. So this is just a quadrilateral and just a parallelogram. So if you notice, just by changing the angles, I've taken away some names that this could have. Let's look at this one. I'm going to try really hard to keep that straight. Okay, so let's look at this line and the opposite line. I can tell that they are going to cross eventually. So that's not, these two are not parallel. But these two are parallel. So it has only one set of parallel line. So that would be a trapezoid. Can't be a parallelogram if you're calling it a trapezoid. Rhombus, four equal sides. Well, clearly all, all four sides are different colors also, so I know they're not equal. Four right angles. Well, this one is acute, this one is obtuse, obtuse and acute, so that's not going to work. If none of these work, then I know it's not a square because that's four equal sides and four right angles. So it's just a trapezoid and a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Let's look at this one more time. What if I tilted it like that? So these are going to cross and these are going to cross. So this isn't a trapezoid anymore. This is just a quadrilateral. It has four sides. That's it. There's nothing else you can tell me about it. You can't give it any other name. Okay, let's look at this one. One set of parallel lines, well, these are parallel. They're never going to touch, but then these also are never going to touch. So this is not a trapezoid, but it's actually a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel lines. These are parallel and these are parallel. Four equal sides, yes, they're all green. So this is a rhombus, so parallelogram and rhombus. Rectangle, four right angles. These are not right angles, unfortunately, so this cannot be a rectangle. Square, four equal sides, yes, but does it have four right angles? No, so this cannot be considered a square. 
Does it have four sides? Yes. So this is a parallelogram, a rhombus, and a quadrilateral. Now I'm going to take it and just shift it like that. This is going to give it completely different extra names. So these are parallel. These are parallel, so it's a parallelogram. All four sides are the same, so it's a rhombus. There are now four right angles, so it's a rectangle. And because it has four equal sides and four right angles, like if it's a rhombus and a rectangle, it's safe to call it a square also. And it has four sides. So this parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, square, and quadrilateral. That vision of like when growing up in elementary school, when you see a square, a square can be all of these. So now I'm going to put a board up and you're going to look at that shape and decide what names that quadrilateral can have. So when you look at it, press pause, go through the list, and then press play to hear them. Okay, here's your first one. Press pause and look at the definitions. You might want to go back and look at the definitions. Okay, so this one has two sets of parallel lines. These are parallel and these are, these are parallel. So this is a parallelogram. All four sides are not the same, so this can't be a rhombus. It does have four right angles, so it is a rectangle. It doesn't have four equal sides, so it's not a square, even though it has four right angles. And it has four sides, so it's a quadrilateral. Okay, go ahead and look at this one. And press pause and discuss what you think it could be. Okay, so I see two sets of parallel lines. These will never touch. These will never touch. All four sides are the same, so this is a rhombus. These are not right angles, because if they were right angles, then, like, these would match up. You know what I mean? This is a right angle. I know that for sure. So this would fit. They would fit together, but it doesn't. So this can't be a rectangle. And because it doesn't have four right angles, then it doesn't have the possibility of being a square. So this is just a quadrilateral and a rhombus and a parallelogram. Okay, here's the next one. Looking at this, I see that these are parallel, but then these are not, they're gonna touch. So it's one set of parallel lines, so it's gonna be a trapezoid. And honestly, if it's just, if you just find out that it's a trapezoid, then it can't be any of these. There's just no way. So, well, it can be a, it's also called a quadrilateral, but it, it you know, these all kind of have like lines that they can all cross into each other. But if it's a trapezoid, then it's also just a quadrilateral and that's it. Okay, here's the next one. Okay, so parallel, parallel. So it's not a trapezoid, it's a parallelogram because I had counted two sets. Four equal sides, so it's a rhombus. Four right angles, so it's a rectangle. And because it's a rhombus and a rectangle, it's safe to say that it's a square. And then, of course, it's also a quadrilateral. So parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, square, and quadrilateral.